Twitter is all about status updates, but it can be more than just, I feel like ice cream or I'm going for a run. It may seem surprising. There's not a lot of traffic, but there's a higher rate of accidents. And this will be a rematch of last year's point setable. Whoa. Okay, I may not have the best skills, but let's see how I did. Got it in the middle. Not too bad for my first time. Well, Amanda, Grand Prairie Police say 20 children plus the driver were on board that van. Those of us on camera know it takes a little getting used to, but these teachers handled the pressure like pros. The last time the Cowboys won a playoff game, Tony Romo was 16 and Jason Witten was just 14. You hold, we'll stretch them okay, out let's, a little bit. So let's we'll let's just give the audience at home an idea of <laughs> how long yeah. is he? We're here at the finish line and as you can see we're about an hour and 10 minutes into the race. With weather like this and temperatures warming up, there's no telling how long it will last. Hold on actually, I just checked the monitors and there are still times changing for those arrivals coming in on American Airlines. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Brown. Day after day drivers get caught in congestion around North Texas, but one stretch of road in Tarrant County is the worst in the area. Jim mentioned LBJ and it's a trouble spot again in today's road patrol at 635 and Marsh. Well, rapid expansion led to some of Toyota's troubles. That's the word from Mr. Toyota himself. Well, it's Valentine's Day, and by now, if you haven't made a reservation, you're probably out of luck. But don't worry, the 33's entertainment reporter Roni Proder has a few creative ideas. I've heard some buzz about some of the films. Um, Michael Douglas is premiering a film there. What are some of the big films you'd like people to know about? Two, seven, four, one. Oh my God, that was amazing. I promise you there is no cheating going on here. I have the numbers on this sheet of paper and I checked myself, I'm sure everyone at home was right. looking. How in the world did you do that? You can still do burger, but just something a little bit different. So the idea is pretty much anything is good if you throw it on a bun. You should probably have one of these being in the news business. Yes, definitely. I think you guys right. live in a Get a whole pack. I grew up here, so I knew what it was like in high school. You know, oh my gosh, there's a thin layer of ice or a little bit of snow and everyone really does freak out. People don't know how to drive on this. The new home for America's team was equipped with everything except an American flag. Take a look. Oh, see. Can you see? Fans in Burgundy and fans in blue united to sing our nation's praise, but one thing was missing. They need to put the American flag in the stadium represent the United States. The flag on the field is temporary and the one you see from above is a digital image on the big screen. We can't be America's team if we don't have a flag. The video screen, the video screen is not enough. Frenchy Rialt and his wife say it's an insult. He fought in Vietnam. She'd rather wear stripes. We are your flag today. Then let the stadium go without them. I'd like to see Jerry Jones go to the airport sometime and greet the troops and see what the troops are doing for us and see if he doesn't start flying a full-time flag up here. I'm an Army vet. As a veteran, it hurts. It really offends me. Trisha Labar sacrificed a lot for our country. She feels hanging a flag is the least Jones can do. The Cowboys organization told us they've had lots of complaints, so they released an official statement saying, we prefer to have a live color guard and members of our military, Boy Scouts and local ROTC units and others as a live presence on event day. Jones told KRLD Radio a flag won't be added. He says there's no good place to put it. That's not good enough for soldiers like Pamela Schmecht. She says until there's a permanent flag, she'll continue to bring her own. You wouldn't come to a Cowboys game wearing an Eagles jersey or you have to wear your pride. Show your pride. I absolutely believe that. Well, just days after our story aired, Jones decided to add a flag to Cowboys Stadium. During the Thanksgiving game, he raised not one, but two American flags. Now there's one at each end zone. With the help of a bulldozer, investigators are pulling apart Russell Memorial United Methodist Church. It went up in flames Thursday morning. Quite a shock. We just weren't prepared for it. They're trying to find out why. I'm 23 years old, so this is the only church I've known. It's my home, and it's, it's devastating. This marks the eighth church fire in East Texas since January 1st. Six have already been declared arson. A ninth blaze in Temple was also intentionally set. A spokesperson from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms calls this one suspicious because there's evidence someone forced their way in. It's heartbreaking to see it even happening right now. It's just 
It makes you sick to your stomach, really, to know that someone could be so heartless. If this is arson, whoever did this may have destroyed that building, but they haven't destroyed the church community. They're not losing faith, and they're still going to service across the street. Yes, it's overwhelming to think that someone might have set this fire. But God is still in control, my friends. It's been a challenging couple of days for the new pastor giving his first sermon. We pull together. You can see the crowd today. Fresh faces showed up to lend support, including the Van Zant County Sheriff. It hurts. It hurts our community, but I'm amazed and blessed by the strength of this congregation uh, that I've just seen in this, in this service. He says he's working with the ATF, getting brief daily and pursuing leads, all for one simple hope. That we stop this before it happens again. In Wills Point, Vanessa Brown, The 33 News. The Texas sun was shining just in time for opening day of Dallas Blues. Sounds from a Spanish guitar filled the warm air for this year's theme, Fiesta de Flores. The weather had thousands of people flocking to the gardens, including this little girl. Whoa, whoa. She loved the flowers almost as much as she loved her camera. I took a red one, pink one, white ones, and all the colors. While she snapped away, the adults lounged away, picnicking on the grass. To come here and wear flip-flops and shorts today is its amazing. It's a nice break. You never know how long it'll be before you can wear these again, so for now, People are soaking up the sun. Today is gorgeous and just going to enjoy it while we can. It's hard to imagine just a few weeks ago, these kids were probably making snowmen. Now they're playing in water that's thankfully unfrozen. One person who couldn't be happier about the heat is bride-to-be Sharon Bloxon. She thought she'd be taking her portraits indoors. I woke up very excited because the sun was out early this morning. No rain so far, so it's a beautiful day today. Her wedding is just a week away, but it's still winter. No telling how the weather will be then. In Dallas, Vanessa Brown, The 33 News. Don, we want to tell you, those latest polls are out. TCU is ranked number three in most of them, but they actually stayed number four in the BCS, so the irony is they were jumped by Cincinnati, but none of that matters now. They're still making history. It's official. TCU is BCS bound. Uh, it's taken so long for us to get to a BCS game. We've been so close. Uh, there's no bad blood as far as I'm concerned. We're, we're excited about going to the Fiesta Bowl. Excited about playing a Boise State team. It's a great program. We're excited. Uh, it's going to be a great game. We finally get to be on that national stage. We're excited. We're ready to play. There was relief. You know, now we finally know who we're playing and we can go out and prepare. And, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. The big announcement secured the Horned Frogs and the Mountain West Conference a $17 million payday. It's also a payoff for loyal fans. So awesome. We're the biggest frog fans ever. We're so proud of them. Wherever they go, we'll be there. But the outcome could have been much different. Wait a minute. Did the game end? For about three hours, it looked like TCU had a good shot at playing for the national title. For everything. All it took was one second for the Longhorns to dash that dream and stamp their ticket to Pasadena. I was watching Colt McCoy pray that they'd make the field goal, and I was praying that they wouldn't, but his prayers uh, were answered and mine wasn't. So We looked pretty good there toward the end, and then uh, just didn't work out. Didn't work out. Uh, that's too bad. For Coach Patterson and his boys, there's no looking back. We wanted the highest matchup, and this was going to give us the highest matchup, so here we go. And this will be a rematch of last year's point setable. TCU actually beat Boise State by one point, so we'll have to see what happens this year. And by the way, Coach P told me he voted his team number two. He says they'll get another shot at the championship next year. Reporting live at TCU, Vanessa Brown, The 33 News.